So let's start out with our first very, very simple set of tests. And that is going to be specifically for the home page and the navigation. Now, at the moment, we've got no way of authenticating the user. We're not actually going to create the login and registration process on the app just yet, but we're going to test for this and make sure that when we are signed in, we see the correct items in the navigation. And when we're not signed in, we see the correct items in the navigation, plus a little greeting just here, asking the user to sign up and get started. Okay, so we're gonna use Laravel Fortify for this, which is a headless authentication package for Laravel. So let's head straight down to the installation section and go ahead and get this installed. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the command in to pull that down. We'll go ahead and publish the resources just here. So there we go. And let's come down and finally run PHP Arts and Migrate, which I don't think should do much. It will just add some two-factor columns. We're not going to be including any of that functionality anyway. Okay, so we're going to start to write tests out before we touch our app. So let's go and create our first test, just making sure that we've got rid of the example tests, which we have. So the first test is going to be our home test. So let's go ahead and say home test. This is a feature test, so we're not going to go ahead and pass the unit flag. And of course, we're going to run that pest flag to generate out a pest scaffolded test. So over in home test, then let's think about the first thing that we want to do. So we're going to go ahead and say it greets the user if they are signed out. So what do we want to see when we make a request to the home page? Well, we want to see a home header and we also want to see some text, for example, sign up to get started. So let's go ahead and work through this. OK, so at the moment we've got this response assigned to this get. We're not going to need to do that in this case. Let's just go ahead and say this get. There's an alternative way to do this in PEST, which I'll show you in a second. And we're going to go ahead and say assert C, which is a Laravel assertion from the Laravel testing framework home. And we also want to see when we make a request here, sign up to get started. So that's the two things that we want to see on this page. Now, at this point, we're not authenticating the user. So we've not signed in as a user up here or anything like that. So this should pretty much be very, very simple to get working. OK, let's go ahead and run pest and see if this passes. Of course, it doesn't pass at the moment because within that we don't see sign up to get started. We've just got the hello text, which we implemented. So let's head over to home.blade.php. Let's change this to home and let's change this to sign up to get started. And that should just about pass that test. So let's run pest and sure enough, we get green. Now let's go ahead and wrap these two things in the guest directive. So that will only be shown if we are a guest. And let's actually change the header to book friends because that would probably be a better greeting. We'll update our test to say book friends and we should be good. So let's rerun our tests and there we go, we get green. So let's now focus on what we can see if we are signed in. So we're gonna focus on the navigation items over on that base layout. So the first thing that we'll do is write the test out for this. So it shows authenticated menu items if the user is signed in. You can make that a little bit less verbose if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and create our closure out in here and just finish that off. And here, obviously what we want to do is sign in as a user and then acting as that user, we wanna check if we can see the correct navigation items and that will include the user's name that we're signed in as as well if you remember over in app.blade.php the very top item here is going to be the user's name okay so how do we sign in as a user if you've never tested within laravel before this will be a really good lesson okay so if we just open up our directory here and we come over to the database section under factories by default we have a user factory what this is going to allow us to do is when we run this, generate out a fake user in the database. And this uses the Faker PHP library to create a name for the user, an email address for the user, and all of the other information as well. And this password hash is password if we do need to use it. Okay, so how do we use this factory? Well, let's go ahead and say user. So we assign that user. We're gonna go ahead and say user factory and create. So that will create out a fake user in the database ready for us to use. 
We just need to make sure that we pull in the namespace for user at the top here. Now at the moment, this isn't quite gonna work. Let's go over and run pest again, and you can see that we've got an error here. This is actually a database error, so there's no such table users. Well, we need to go ahead and create that table, e.g. we need to run our migrations. So at the top of any testing file where we want to run our database migrations, we need to use the refresh database trait. Now with a standard Laravel test, let's just go ahead and generate one of them out so we can compare. So let's say make test example test. And let's go over to that example test and have a look at this class. You can see that we get this refresh database trait in here. Now what we would do is use that within this class and that would go ahead and create our migrations or run our migrations for us. So we actually have that users table. Remember this is all within an SQLite testing database. So that's not what we wanna do because we don't have a class, so we can't use a trait. So instead what we do is we use the uses function within pest and that will allow us to say refresh database and just pass that in as we normally would. Now for some reason my IDE doesn't like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in the import for this but that's pretty much what we need to do. Now what this is gonna do is for every test it's gonna run our migrations so we will then have the users table in here. So let's go ahead and just try and run pest again and sure enough this time it works. The only thing that it is, is warning us of is we have one risky test because within here, we're not performing any assertions. So now what we wanna do is make a request to the home page, but we want to act as this user. Now again, using Laravel's testing framework, we can say something like acting as user, and then we can chain on what we wanna make a get request to. So we can say get home page, and then we can just continue to write assertions. So let's just say what we want to see. So we're gonna use assert C text here, and we're gonna pass an array of menu items that we should see. So we should see the feed menu item, we should see my books, we should see add a book, and we should see friends. We should also see the user's name, but because we've assigned this, we can go ahead and just grab the user's name out here. We can also see thing, uh, say things like assert C in order, but we'll just kind of keep this as simple as possible for now. Okay, so we've done this. Let's go ahead and run this test and see what we get. And of course it fails because we've not satisfied this by adding in the correct items. So over to app.blade.php, let's go ahead and fill this in. So Alex at the moment is hard coded. That's my name, so it doesn't make sense. Here we wanna go ahead and say auth, user, and name. So that makes sense. We've got our feed in there. What else do we need to do? We've got my books, add a book. So let's just duplicate this list item down here and say add a book. And we also want a friends option as well. So let's go and duplicate this down and put friends just in there. And we've got a logout link down here, but let's just kind of ignore that for now just to keep things simple. And of course, let's wrap this in an auth directive so this only shows if the user is authenticated same with logout as well so we'll just end auth there and we'll just go up and indent all of this so it's nice and tidy okay so now let's run pest and sure enough we get green so we know that now that we're signed in we can see their menu items now ideally what you'd have to do in this test is check that you can't see these if you're not signed in so you could come over and duplicate this test down or you could go ahead and include this within this test. So you could change the name of the test and you could see that you don't see. So we could say assert don't see and then pass in say the user's name, which we don't know. So we could say feed for example and go ahead and run that. And yeah, I think that's the wrong method name. In fact, no, it's not the wrong method name. It looks like we've got some sort of error here. So I'm guessing that is because over in app.blade.php we are not wrapping this within auth as well. So let's go ahead and fix that. Our test has told us that that is not working. So let's pull that up to here. Go ahead and indent this unordered list if I can catch it. And we should be good. So let's run pest again. And there we go, we get green. So it's really up to you how sort of thorough you create these as. We'll leave this very simple one in here at the moment. We're not really necessarily focused on really thoroughly testing this. We're more looking at the kind of syntax that we can use. 
Okay, so if we head over to our app, we're not signed in at the moment, so we don't see any items in here. Let's just write one more test to verify that we can see specific menu items if we're not signed in. So let's say it shows unauthenticated menu items if the user is not signed in. Again, you can make that name a little bit less verbose if you want to. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this user, get rid of acting at, and we'll just say this, get. So we wanna see a specific set of items if we're not signed in. So we wanna see login, we wanna see register, and we want to not see add a book, not see that and not see that. And I think that should be just about it. Maybe also a home page as well, home page link. So let's go ahead and just write home in there. Okay, let's go ahead and run pest. Of course that fails because we don't have any of their menu items in there. So let's head down to the bottom here. There are lots of different ways that we could structure this, but we'll just keep it a little bit messy for now. We can always refactor it later. And we'll add our guest directive in here. And let's go ahead and grab an unordered list for the login and register links. So we'll have that there. And then at the top, we will have our home page link. So let's switch this to home and let's switch this to login. And then let's duplicate this down and switch this to register. Okay, let's run pest and there we go, it passes. So we're pretty confident now that we can see the correct items if we are signed in or if we're signed out. Let's just talk quickly about shortening this up with some pest specific functions. The moment we're calling this, which is pretty much like what we would do within a Laravel test, what we can actually do is omit that altogether and we can go ahead and import the get function from pest. And let's see if we can find it. We probably won't be able to again in my IDE. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this in from my notes. We basically wanna pull in this pest Laravel get function from the Laravel package. So now what we can do is shorten this down even more by just saying, get rid of this, like so. So let's go and just run pest again, and sure enough, we get green. So we'll come across loads of stuff like this a little bit later, but it helps just to shorten things down a bit. We could even pull that up. Later on, we're gonna look at higher order tests as well, which we could do this with. Okay, so hopefully that's a sort of good introduction to writing our first test, just to check that these navigation items are working nicely despite the fact that we didn't really come over to our app. Let's head over to the next episode where we're gonna take a look at writing some register specific tests to check the registration process.